Hello everyone, welcome to Tector.com. So we have illustration here and basically we will solve a problem. So we have been given a schedule and we need to check whether the schedule is conflict serializable. Okay. So we have already studied the method which is constructing precedence graph to check whether the schedule is conflict serializable. Okay. So how do we start? We start with taking number of nodes equal to the number of transactions. So as we can see that we have three transactions that is here we have one, we have two, we have three. Okay, so we have three transactions. So we will take three nodes. So we will try to keep it sparse so that I can construct edges in between. So this is one, this is two and this is three. Now let's start <coughs> with R2 and we will check the conflicting operations of R2 with other operations. Okay, so let's say R2Z. Now I have to check for write operation from other transaction performed on Z. Okay, so we have here we have Z and we have write operation and from other transaction that is the transaction is 3. Okay, on the same variable Z. Okay, so we have a conflicting operation R2Z and R3. No, no, sorry, this is read operation. It won't be conflicting. Okay. We, we need to find write operation. Okay. So on Z here, you can see we have one conflicting operation that is write. Fine. And this is from transaction three. So we have one conflicting operation, pair of conflicting operation. And what will be the direction of edge from two to three? right so from 2 to 3 I'll have an edge fine now do I have other operations conflicting operation from R2 no because this was the last one okay now R2Y so when I say R2Y I have to see on the same Y if some other transaction is performing right because this is read okay and read can only conflict with right so on y here you can see transaction 3 is performing read so this is read okay on y i have here transaction 3 is performing write find this one so this is now conflicting operation so we have edge from 2 to 3 so 2 to 3 i already have edge so i'm not going to redraw fine now from this operation this is write operation so any read or write operation from some other transaction other than 2 on y will create conflict okay so on y here we have read from trans transaction 3 okay so this is a pair of conflicting operation and edge will be from 2 to 3 so 2 to 3 i already have edge now this write will cause conflict with no other yes this one but this is also 2 to 3 so we will not take it now let's take this operation this is r3 on y so on y we need to find out the operation here it is y but it is same transaction so no edge now r3 z so r3 z on z we have to see the operation this is on Z but from same transaction so again no edge no conflicting operation now R1 X so on R X we have this one is another on X we have only this operation but this is from same transaction once so it is not conflicting okay when we take this we don't have any conflict why we don't have any conflict okay so as we don't have any cycle in the graph so this is conflict serializable okay so the schedule is is conflict serializable okay now let's take 
some other schedule I'll add some more operations in this schedule so now let's check whether this given schedule is conflict serializable okay so to test this what we will do we will again draw precedence graph fine so I'll quickly check the conflict here so we have as we have three transaction I have three nodes here now from R to Z let's check what are the conflicting operation so to so to start with we have to only concentrate with Z variables so here I have Z okay and write operation because this is read it will conflict only with write so I'll go ahead and I'll see whether write on Z is there so I have write on Z here okay and uh, now I'll see whether it is from different transactions so yes it is from different transactions so these two are conflicting so I'll draw an edge from 2 to 3 okay now I'll go ahead again and I'll see whether R2 is conflicting with something else also so on Z now I don't have any operation so only one conflicting operation with this operation now let's start with this one second operation so on Y we have to find some right so on Y we have right but same transaction so this is not the one on Y this is on Y and transaction is 3 okay so now this is conflicting operation so this operation and this operation is conflicting okay so I'll draw an edge from 2 to 3 so already 2 to 3 I have an edge fine now I'll go ahead and I'll see so here R2 Y so on Y I have another operation here which is right so from 2 to 1 I'll have an edge this is also conflicting right this one and this one so from 2 to 1 I'll draw an edge fine so this operation is over now now let's concentrate on third operation and find out conflicting operation with this so this is on Y right so I have to see anything read or write on Y but some other operation other than 2 other transaction okay other than 2 so on Y I have see this one 2 to 3 this one is conflicting these two okay but these two are conflicting but I already have an edge from 2 to 3 so let's go ahead now this is Z this is this is Arth see here this is again conflicting so this operation and this operation is conflicting but I already have an edge from 2 to 3 okay now go ahead and on Y I have R1 I have R1 Y okay this was R3 Y here this is R1 Y no no I'm checking with this one okay so this is W2 Y and this is R1 Y okay so I'll have this is conflicting operation right because the variable is same this is one operation is right and transaction is different okay so I'll have an edge from 2 to 1 so from 2 to 1 I already have an edge okay now now this one this one again is conflicting operation pair okay but from 2 to 1 I already have an edge fine so this is done now now let's check this so R3 Y so R3 Y means on Y I have to check conflicting operation so I'll go for Y Y here it is Y but the transaction is same okay so no conflict then so see this one this operation this is Y that is same variable this is read and this is write so one write operation and transaction is different so I'll draw an edge from 3 to 1 so from 3 to 1 I'll draw an edge so far there is no cycle in the graph okay now this one this one is on x variable so no conflict 
so this is now done now let's take r3z so on z variable this is this is z variable okay this is right operation but transaction is same for both so it will not be conflicting operation now let's go for z and we don't have any z further so no conflicting operation so far now r1x so r1x will be conflicting with what right operation on x variable by some other transaction than one so let's check for x here it is x but transaction is same x x but this is read operation x now you can see these two operation this operation and this operation okay these two operation are conflicting fine same variable x one right operation different transactions so we will draw an edge from 1 to 2 so from 1 to 2 I'll draw an edge now you can see that I'm getting here a cycle what is the cycle this cycle right as I'm getting a cycle here so I need not to check further and I can say that this schedule is not conflict serializable okay so schedule s is not serializable okay fine 